What's up? Welcome to The Beanery. I'm Marina, this is Scott, and we're the coffee experts here at Beanbox. It's a beautiful morning here in Seattle. We're here to curate coffees to give you better mornings as well. Maybe we should call this The Morning Show. The Morning Show? I'm in. Today we're going to talk about five tips for brewing better coffee at home. Tip one, pick the right coffee. The world of specialty coffee is a big one, and it can be intimidating, but you don't have to go too hard too soon. Start with freshly roasted specialty beans, ideally within a few weeks of being roasted. Unlike wine, coffee does not get better with age. Coffee flavors can also vary quite a bit across roast profiles. If you're going to serve your coffee with milk or sugar, choose something on the medium dark side of the spectrum. If you want a lighter or more nuanced cup, opt for something with a light or medium roast profile. Tip number two, choose the brewer. There's a whole world of brewers. To help break it down, I usually ask two main questions. How many cups are you serving and how involved would you really like to be? If you're brewing multiple cups at a time, go with a Chemex, a French press, or an auto drip brewer. If you're brewing for one, which I often do, you can go with an AeroPress or Hario V60. These will make a perfect amount of cup, either for you or to share half and half with a friend. Um, in general, the pour over coffees will be the most complicated, um, but an auto drip machine will still allow you to enjoy specialty coffee as long as you don't stray too far beyond the golden ratio. We'll cover that later. Tip number three, burrs over blades. If you don't have a grinder, most of our Beanbox coffees are available freshly pre-ground. But for the best flavor, we recommend the investment in a grinder. Whole bean coffee will retain flavor profile longer and stay fresher for longer than will ground coffee. However, all grinders are not created equal. Although they cost more, we recommend a burr grinder for more uniform grounds compared to a blade grinder. Many inexpensive blade grinders are marketed as intro coffee grinders, when in reality, you can't adjust the grind. They're not very precise. You have to eyeball it. You have to shake it. There's a lot of mess involved. It gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. At that point, you're better off taking your coffee to a local cafe and asking them to grind it for you, because at least you'll have something that you can make a, a better cup with. So when I don't have my Beanbox measured out bags, um, I used to try to use those little scoops that come with your brewers. A lot of times, Chemex, Hario will give you a plastic Everything comes with scoop. a scoop, and they're not the same. And I feel like I got to the point when I was in my kitchen and I had a whole dedicated drawer of just coffee junk. It wouldn't even open anymore. Um, and every time I did grab a scoop out of there, it was a different amount. It was and a random so scoop. It was truly all different colors and shapes, and it never worked. And a lot of my friends were coming to me, coming over for coffee, and I always felt pretty embarrassed because I was like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Let me just shuffle through like a thousand scoops. Got to the point where eventually you get a scale, I got a scale, and it's so much easier to be consistent across the cups. Just use grams, and then you can scale up the ratio uh, depending scale. how many cups you're using. <laughs> Finally, tip number five, water, water everywhere. 99% of brewed coffee is water, and the quality and flavor of your water will affect the flavor of your cup. So if you wouldn't drink a glass of your tap water, don't brew your coffee with it. We recommend using filtered water unless you're lucky enough to live in a place like Seattle where we have great water at home. And this could also be the case if you live in a place where there's lots of mineral content in your water or if you need to soften your water. And I think that can change the profile quite a bit. Um, I know there are mineral supplements that right. are sold that you can put in your water. Um, Maybe we could review those in another video. We could. I think for most people, you don't need to get that granular with your coffee. Oh my goodness. That one's for me. That's my pun. <laughs> um, but uh, I, think, I think coffee shops in places with subpar water often use those uh, before they make large amounts of brewed coffee. All right, you've got your tips. Let's brew this. Take a look below for linked videos on individual how-tos for different brew methods. Our biggest tip is to make a small change every day until you get the cup of coffee that you like. It won't be perfect the first time, but the best one will make all the effort worth it. Thanks for joining us on the Beanbox Morning Show. I think we did it. First one down. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.